Hey, in the previous lecture, we talked about the software of Arduino, the software that uh, we were going to write the code inside and uh, debug the code and load it into Arduino. So we talked about how to download and uh, we just talked about the void setup and void loop. So as I said, Arduino has two parts, the software part and the hardware part. So in the previous lecture, we talked about the software part a little bit, but now let's talk about the hardware, the physical Arduino that you might have already bought. So this is Arduino. Uh, I'm going to show you the pins, some of the pins and I'm going to show you what, how to use them and what are they for, generally talking. So let's begin with this one here. This one here is the cable, the usually Budo cable. You just put it in and you can connect your Arduino with your computer and load your code via this connection. Uh, when you connect, in, it shows, uh, for instance, COM3 is connected, Arduino, Uno, and blah, blah. So, uh, the next one here is this one. This is the power source for Arduino. You give 9 volts here. You can give 8 volts, 10 volts, doesn't matter because it has a voltage regula regulator. It doesn't use the 9 volt just directly. It makes this 9 volt, 5 volt. And then uses because Arduino uses five volts, not nine volts. Or uh, and uh, there are pins here, digital inputs and output pins. It begins from zero till thirteen. There are fourteen pins here, which we can make them inputs or outputs. So if I make this pin number seven input then for instance I can uh, get the situation of a button is it connected or it is not on or off I can get this also we can make these uh, pins outputs let's make pin number nine outputs output so when we make some pin output we can make it is voltage five or zero According to our code, we, we will write this, these codes in the void loop part of the Arduino software. And we will say, let's make this, for instance, nine pin 9 uh, high for one second. I mean, 5 volts for one second, then low for one second, another second. So, as I said, in the void setup part, we write some code, the which which, which is going to be executed in the beginning of the program. So in the beginning of the program, we say that let's make pin number seven input and let's make pin number nine output. And then in the loop part, we say, let's make it open, let's make it close, I mean on, off, and it goes like that. So if you make some pin input, for instance, and something output. Let's say you have a room and you have to change its temperature according to the temperature you have right now. Uh, as I said in the previous lecture, you can take uh, it is current temperature and then decide to make uh, the radiator on or off. But of course, these are digital pins, so you cannot get uh, the temperature of a room with digital pins because we have also analog inputs. So here I want to mention about the difference between analog and digital. What is digital and what is analog? So electronics is separated into two parts, electronics and digital. These are the big major parts of electronics. So in digital parts, we make computers, we make uh, mobile phones, lots of stuff. 
and in analog stuff, analog things, uh, we make like amplifiers, some circuits. Uh, most of the old circuits are based on analog circuitry. So the, in digital uh, environment, you just have zeros and ones, which means zeros are zero volt, ones are five volt. Five volt in Arduino, of course, there are some chips, chips of Intel, for instance, that which uses 3.3 volts. In uh, Arduino, we use five volts as the high voltage and zero as a low voltage. So you will see that sometimes we write the 5 volts as 1 or sometimes we write it as high and we write the 0 volts as 0 or low so from analog pins these are all inputs you can get uh, continuous numbers what does it mean continuous and non-continuous I mean digital ones in analog, you can get between zero till five volts. You can get nine. You can get four point two. You can get three three point seven, or you can get two. All of these voltages are valid in analog inputs, but in digital inputs, only valid voltages are five and zero. So you can you can have just two options, zero or one. So this is the difference between digital and analog. So we use this six uh, inputs as analog inputs and we use these as input or output but it is digital and we have G and D here also two of G and D here these are grounds which which is zero volts and we have five volt here and we have voltage input it is connected here with this one it also takes 5 volt so you can power your Arduino from here or from here and we have a res reset button here uh, as I said you have a program which has a void setup and void loop when your program starts to run it does the void setup once and then uh, goes into void loop and loops in the void loop forever when you push the rest reset button it just goes to, to the beginning of the code uh, to void setup and does again everything okay and there are transmitter and receiver parts uh, we will cover them later in the course but for now I think this is enough and let's talk uh, a little bit about breadboard because we will use breadboard a lot in our circuits so I'm going to delete this one and I will bring breadboard okay guys this is our breadboard so why do you do we use breadboards instead of making all the connections with maybe copper wire or some you know copper thing because we want our circuits to build them and connect them and disconnect them because uh, it's not for production for learning uh, because of this we use these pins we can connect our pins here and then just disconnect and we can use it uh, forever like for every kind all kind of uh, you know circuits so how this is connected inside so all these pins here are connected like this from the beginning to end and also these are connected these are the power lines okay and these two is the same and here these five are connected together and these five and these five and this five and it goes like this until here 
and here the same thing this 5 this 5 and it goes until here all these these are not connected from here to here but these fives are connected between them so we will use it a lot for instance if we want to have a button here we can connect this side of button to a battery maybe and then we can connect our LED here and then we can connect this and we can connect that to ground yeah like this and then here by the battery or stuff i will show you uh, in our circus step by step all these things just i want to introduce you the breadboard yeah you're going to need it a lot so this is it for this lecture see you in the next lecture